Before we move on to the next fitting, let me explain how to find true lengths in triangulation. Here in front of you, you see a building. We have a plan view and an elevation view. I drew a ladder against the building. The ladder is in red. The ladder, the building is 28 feet tall. The ladder extends away from the building seven feet. From these two views, there is no way to measure the true length of the ladder. In sheet metal, we use triangulation in pattern drafting to develop patterns for objects that have slanted sides. And in order to lay out these patterns, you must find the true length of each side. And this is the formula that we would be using. The square root of the finished length squared plus slant squared or slope or change squared. So let's try to make this flat on bottom transition. It states that we want it to finish four inches long. I'm going to use the triangulation method. No mathematical, just using my dividers or compass to find my lengths. So first thing you need to build is a triangle, true length triangle. So once you've made your 90 degree corner, add the fitting height. This would be four inches. This is the finished height of the fitting when you are done. Now I am measuring one inch. This is the top cheek. It's sloping or slanting one inch. So on your true length triangle, I mark one inch and I will indicate that it's for my top. This is the right side of the fitting. This one stated two inch of slope for my right side. This is the back and that's the left side. The bottom has zero slope, as you can see in a plan view. The left side also has zero slope or zero change. So let's go ahead and lay out the bottom. We know that the bottom panel is five inches wide. At these two points, draw two vertical lines, five inches apart. Because it has a zero slope, the true length of this panel or side will be four inches. So set your compass from bottom to finished height, which is going to be four inches, and transfer it to your pattern. So now you'll be building your rectangle, five by four. This is what you would be cutting in a sheet metal shop. This would be your piece of metal. You would bring it over to your bench. You would mark five inches. And at the top, you would locate your three inches. Then you would scribe from your five to three and chop it off in the shear. Now let's lay out the top side. The top is also five inches wide, but it has a one inch slope. Mark your five inches. Draw your vertical lines. Set 
set your compass from top to your finished fitting height, which is four inches. It would be little more than four because it's sloping. Again, we know the bottom is five, and then we will locate three inches on the top. It's always good practice to mark the inside of your fittings. Let's lay out the right side. The right side, we know it is three inches at the base. Now this right side, we know it's sloping two inches, therefore set your compass from RS, right side, and use this distance for your true length. This distance would be two, so locate your two. Draw your diagonal line, and your right side is complete. Goes from three to two. Let's finish the last piece, your left side. Again, this will be three inches at the base. The true length is from zero because it had no slope. So therefore, technically, your true length is four inches tall. Now your top opening is two inches. Make sure to mark the inside of your fitting. So let's go and try this same transition using your calculator. First, we know we've got four pieces, a top cheek, bottom cheek, right side, and a left side. You are gonna to need to know the fitting length, finished, and in this case, it's four. And you are gonna to need to determine how much every side is sloping. The top cheek, right there, has a one inch slope, the so one squared. The bottom cheek is zero. The right side is two. And your left side is also zero. So let's now complete and find all the true lengths for each side. Next, you will notice that I have all the patterns laid out, but let's start with the bottom. The bottom we know has a five inch base and it's zero slope. If it has a zero slope, your formula would work out to a true length of four inches. So draft a rectangle five by four. The top cheek has a one inch slope. Your true length would be four and one eighth. So draft your rectangle five by four and one eighth and add your dimensions. 
for the right side sloping two inches, you would need a true length of four and a half. And for the left side of zero inch slope, your true length would be four inches. Therefore, draft a rectangle, three at the base by four inches tall and add your dimensions. This method, relation method, uses a piece of sheet metal based on the plan and elevation view. So here, if I look at that elevation, it is five by three at the base and three by two at the top, four inches long. Flip it over four times and your pattern is laid out. There is also a special tool that helps with this relation method called a jet pattern developer.